Good evening. This is the May 20th meeting of the Zoning Subcommittee of the Revere City Council. Uh, Madam Clerk? Sure. First item on the agenda is a We're zoning. We're going to call the rule. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> roll call of the Zoning Subcommittee members. Councilor Giannino? Here. Here. Councilor Keefe? Here. Here. Councilor Novoselsky? Here. Here. Councilor Rizzo is absent. Councilor Guanasso? Here. Here. And Chairman Zambudo? Here. Here. Quorum is present. First item on the agenda is Council Order 19-063. This is a zoning ordinance amendment relative to telecommunications facilities on municipal buildings. I'll open this up to my colleagues. Councilor McKenna, are you on a, is this your motion or? Um, no, it's, um, Councilor Keefe's motion. Okay, I'm sorry. Council, you want to let, let Councilor Keefe go first? Councilor Keefe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman. I, you know, in essence, we, we had brought this up, uh, I believe, actually, uh, Councilor Janino as well, in regards to having um, these facilities on top of any city-owned property. Um, and we just wanted to make sure that, you know, in lieu of some of the issues that we're facing with the Revere Fire Department and... and um, their, their will, uh, lack of willingness to want to have it on their property and recognizing that this could be posed as a, a safety uh, or health hazard to the uh, employees there, we thought it would be a good opportunity to um, take this off the books moving forward so that we can stay away from any of these additional um, antennas on top of buildings. Obviously, if there are special needs and there's something that is brought to light, the council would always have the opportunity to reverse that decision or make a decision down the road. But this is something that would help protect um, anything new from going up in the, new, in, the, in the future. Thank you. So, Councilor Keeve, I just want to clarify, uh, you know, I'm in agreement with, with the proposed ordinance. However, it, it's not just a simple thing if something come up and we want to put one on a city building. We'd have to change the zoning ordinance again. You understand that? Yeah, correct. Oh, okay. Uh, I just, you know, we, we like to be able to have some decision uh, in the process. So if there was something to ever happen, it wouldn't be able to happen very quickly. So there would be plenty of input from the community, plenty of input from residents, plenty of input, input from employees that might, might be working in those buildings. So okay. that would give us an opportunity to really put it through rather than be put into a position where we right. had to put something through because we know right. sometimes that, that can be the case. I just wanted to be clear yeah. that once we pass this, it's pretty much in place and it won't go on any municipal buildings, period. Right. Yep. Um, I, I think, unless, I think, unless we came back for another zoning change, which is always possible, but a agreed. long shot. I'd be comfortable with that. Thank okay. you. Um, Councilor Novoselsky. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, just a question through you to the clerk. Is this something that somebody could ask for a variance on? on the zone? No, as the ordinance only a, pertains to municipal buildings, so city-owned buildings. So we couldn't give a variance for it to happen on a city-owned building, even though it's on the, there's an ordinance in the books. The city council would be listing municipal buildings as prohibited locations, so no, you wouldn't be able to okay, get a Okay, just double check, and I just want to make sure there's no loopholes. Thank you. I think it's a good idea, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, it's, it's something we have to, we still have to protect our city workers, you know, give them a good quality of life. Work, work life. Thank you. Thank you, Council Novoselsky. Council President Guanasso. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's well within our rights, Mr. Chairman, and members of this committee to uh, vote this within our community based on the fact that we have other cities and towns that are looking at a similar situation, and certainly the town of Weston, where they removed a cell tower from a school. So uh, it's only in fact, if there is, we haven't got, like, the health status yet that we're requiring and hoping to get soon. But if there is some outside chance that maybe this is harmful to the health of our, our, our community, let's place a safeguard for, for all our municipal buildings to make sure that certainly the children are protected and uh, those people who work for the community, we need them so 
uh, that keep them in good shape. So that this is a provision that I think that the uh, is a, a tremendous idea, and I think it's well within our rights to do so. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Council President Granasso. Councilor Janino. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing this pass, and I think that some of my colleagues mentioned a lot of the key points on it, but it's definitely something that there was a cry, of course, from our fire department that they don't want it on their buildings, and I think it just opened up a conversation that, well, if it's not safe to be on a fire department, it shouldn't be on a school, it shouldn't be on any building or a municipality where there are people that the city's responsible for working. So I look forward to seeing this uh, get up to the council tonight, and thank you for hearing it in your committee. Thank you, Councilor Janino. Councilor McKenna. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I don't know, I didn't uh, read the article, but there was an article in the Boston Globe this week about Russia and China um, dominating the 5G cell towers and starting rumors about, uh, uh, starting rumors in America that uh, they were harmful to uh, people's health and, and uh, they want to dominate uh, the telecommunications. So I didn't read it. A bunch of people told me about it because they know I'm, I'm an activist on this. So um, if anybody can send me the article, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Council McKenna. Uh, so um, obviously I'm in favor of uh, uh, not having these antennas on municipal buildings. It is a, It comes at an expense to the taxpayers. However, uh, we certainly don't want to force people that work for the city, such as the firemen, to have a tower in their place, or, or for that matter, on City Hall or, or anywhere else, any other city building. So um, it looks like we'll ask for a roll call and uh, vote this out favorably to the council as a whole. Thank you. Roll call on the zoning ordinance amendment for telecommunications facilities on municipal buildings. Councillor Janino. Here, yes. Yes, Councillor Keith. Yes. Yes, Councillor Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rizzo is absent. Councillor Guanasso. Yes. Yes, and Chairman Zambudo. Yes. Yes, this will be forwarded to the full city council with a favorable recommendation. Next item on the agenda is special permit request for mobility uh, on Pleasant Street, C1903. Councillors. Councilor Novoselsky. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, I have a um, constituent in my, my ward that is into electronic magnetic fields. And he sent me all this history about the bad effects it has on childhood growth. And um, there's National Academy of Science, yes, National Research Council, um, New England Journal of Medicine, and, and a, a case control study of childhood leukemia in Canada and electromagnetic fields in residences. Um, in, International Journal of Cancer, uh, it was, there was a publication in it, and there's a, um, there's a meter a smart utility meter that can be attached to your to your house and tell you how much radioactivity is is in. So you know there is a history in this, and they're called smart meters. And you know I, I think it's something that we ought to look in deeper into, and uh, you know look into the safety of our, our neighborhoods. You know so you know I don't think this should go anywhere. Um, so you are know, you going to probably probably in violation already? But so are you going to submit this to the uh, city clerk? Yes, for, I will. So that we can all get to see you know, it. But it's you okay. Know, great. So uh, thank you, Councilor so Novoselsky. Councilor McKenna. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is in my ward, Pleasant Street, and I'm totally against this. Uh, it's in a neighborhood, um, and uh, like I said, I do believe that these cause. Um, they have uh, microwave uh, radiation, and I wouldn't want it on top of uh, a pole across the street or next to my house. So I'm definitely not in favor of this. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor McKenna. Anyone else? Uh, okay, this will remain a committee. That appears to be no further business for the zoning subcommittee. So thank you all for your attendance.